It's a British squirrel. Oh, 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 oh! Good morning, everybody, and welcome to London Day. Three. Isn't it the third today? Yeah, it's supposed to be right. Hello! As you can clearly see, I just woke up. It is currently 8.05 in the morning and it's October 3, which means it's my birthday! It's my birthday today in London and I am so happy to be here. I slept like a log. I only woke up like 20-ish minutes ago because our neighbors upstairs, I don't know if their feet are made out of lead. Dang, son, their footsteps are like they're so loud. We've got a fun day planned today. I'm going to cook breakfast and then we're gonna chill for a bit. I'm debating if we're going to go to Covent Garden because Trina said she wants to buy something and I want to pass by boots, the big boots in Covent Garden. But later on at 1 p.m. we actually have a photo shoot book. I did some work with Sweet Escape like I think two months ago and then they said that they wanted to give me a free photo shoot and I was like heck yeah. We have a two-hour photo photo shoot and our locations are going to be Buckingham Palace, Tower Bridge, and London Eye and of course all the little places in between. So I'm really excited for that so you know I've got a birthday photo shoot or whatever. And then after that we're going to come back to the flat or maybe we'll walk around a little bit more and then we'll come back to the flat and freshen up because at 7 o'clock we've got reservations at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant Head on Street Kitchen which I am so excited for. Beef Wellington's baby. I'm actually actually going to eat Gordon Ramsay's beef wellington dish in London. That's my birthday. Like I'm I'm so happy. I could not ask for more. And of course, I'm with mom and Trina. I would show you mom, but she's in her pajamas. So no, and Trina is currently still knocked out. That is the plan for today. I'm a little nervous though because this is going to be our first time taking the train, the tube, crossing our fingers that we actually know what we're doing. I hope you guys enjoyed days 1 and 2. I know it was a little scattered, a little weird. I don't know if I vlogged too much or if I vlogged enough. So the plan for breakfast today is I'm gonna fry us up some of the Tesco's finest pork and leek sausages, scramble us some eggs, toast some bread, and then I am going to make as well the Tesco baked beans and pork sausages in tomato sauce. It's a little bit of a mix. Mom is currently putting our first load of laundry. It's not a detergent. We bought fabric softener, not actual detergent. So here's the current situation. I have finished cooking the beans. They're ready to go. Pork and leek sausages are almost done. And then we've got some scrambled eggs here. The toast is ready and Trina is making our coffee. Birthday breakfast is done. I went for toast with beans and pork sausages, pork and leek sausage, some scrambled eggs, a little overcooked, not gonna lie. Black coffee, but not really because I've got some oatly in it and some fresh berries. Happy birthday. It's been a couple of hours. It's currently 10 30 and we are off to Covent Garden as you guys can see. We are all ready with our photo shoot outfits. I'm wearing this Miss Selfridge white turtleneck with my mom's vintage belt, my Zara pants, and then I'm going to wear my Zara boots. Mom is in this nice black turtleneck with her necklace, jeggings, and sneakers, and Trina is in the cutest sweater. Zara. It's from Zara and it's got Miss Piggy, her favorite cartoon, Lululemon pants, and her sneakers that make her feet look really <laughs> tiny. It's kind of scary. This is my birthday vlog in London. Mm -hmm. Really quickly, what do you guys love so much about me? Wow, thank you. The response was overwhelming. Okay, we're gonna walk the Covent Garden now. See you guys in a bit. It's going to take us 20 minutes to get there, which is fine. We love walking. How cold? Nine degrees? Yeah. It's nine degrees right now. It's lovely. It's my birthday. I'm in my dream city. I am so happy right now. I am using a new bag. I got it from Topshop yesterday. It was on sale from 25 pounds to 10 pounds. Today's gonna be a good day, folks. Mommy! 
I don't really know what I've been vlogging or what I've been saying in the vlogs because I haven't edited any of them yet so I'm sorry if I'm like repeating the same thing or if I'm literally saying things like oh my gosh the weather's so nice oh I love it here oh my gosh I'm so happy I just want to let you guys know right now this has been my dream since I was a kid so technically you are going to be hearing a lot of so happy oh my gosh so excited I can't believe this I love this <laughs> beautiful crazy because it's the truth I'm just genuinely happy to be here I've got mom I've got Trina who I never thought I would celebrate my birthday in London. Certainly not me. We also have to pick up our tickets for Harry Potter because we've got Harry Potter tomorrow. Google Maps is making us pass all these different routes and it's just so nice because we get to see all these different buildings that look super cool. <laughs> warning me saying that not all Londoners are friendly or be prepared. Some of them might be rude. We've been here three days and everybody has been so pleasant, so kind and I don't know, I'm just honestly hoping that it stays that way. Trina's right. Because their first language is English, it's so nice because you can literally understand what everybody's saying. Granted, some of them, their accents are so thick or they're speaking really quickly so you kind of buffer for a bit. You're like, wait, what? But other than that, it's easy to get around. It's easy to understand. Just a random bench. We just came out of Brandy Melville and I unfortunately did not buy anything because we have a photo shoot at once. To everybody that watches YouTubers and knows about Brandy Melville, the clothes are so nice. I don't like the fact that they're one size fits all because that's definitely not true. But the stuff are so nice you can't not look at it and you can't not buy it. We're in boots! Just finished up at Boots here in Covent Garden and super happy because they had this promo where if you reach like 20 pounds with beauty products, you would get a free box that was like worth 40 pounds. Mom, Trina and I were able to get that and then we got our form for the tax refund which we'll have to do at the airport. And according to the lady, we have to go early to the airport because the line for the tax refund daw sobrang haba. Right now though, we're going to the Ordinary and Desiem? How do you say it? Desiem. Trina wants to buy skincare. And then it turns out we're not gonna take the train because <laughs> it's only like a 20 minute walk to where we're supposed to meet our photographer. <laughs> Cafe Nero to meet with our photographer. There's so many pigeons just flying around. It's a little crazy. You go out there. <laughs> I love a good cop murder documentary movie show. Mom, do you want a picture? I think you need a picture. It's the London Eye. Mom, Gina! We just met the kindest policeman ever. We were taking a picture of mom by the new Scotland Yard sign. And then they went up to us and they were like, do you want a picture? We can take it. And then mom was like, I need a picture with you guys because mom and I are obsessed, Trina too, with murder and police shows. So to actually meet legit British cops, so cool. 
So we made it to Cafe Nero. We're just waiting for Abby, our photographer. Really cool. We've never been to this part of London yet. And we're right across from Big Ben. We had an outfit change though. There's a lot of scaffolding, but it's Big Ben. Hello. Guys, this is Abby. He's our Hi. sweet escape photographer. And he is taking us around London. So that's the London Eye. What's that, Abby? Uh, that's an uh, aquarium. Oh, and, nice. Yeah, <laughs> this is the Parliament Building. That's Big Ben. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not doing too well. So Abby's gonna take us around. He's gonna take our photos in certain areas and then we're gonna take the train to Tower Bridge. He's gonna teach us how to work the oyster cart because that is what is scaring me beyond belief. Walking to our next location. Mom, how are you finding the whole photo shoot life? <laughs> <laughs> but you're actually really good. You're a natural. Mom has a lot of cute photos. Abby took us to Parliament side, the River Thames, and then we had a couple of walking pictures. We had the red phone booth photo that everybody who goes to London has to have. If you want great photos to remember a trip or just to treat yourself or spoil yourself, I highly recommend Sweet Escape. Abby's our photographer. He's really kind, he's really patient. He's talking to us about the city, about his life. It's just really nice to get to know somebody who actually lives in the place that you're visiting. If you want like a mini tour guide slash professional photographer, you should book Sweet Escape. Hi guys, welcome to my home. <laughs> welcome to my crib. Abby is bringing us everywhere. That isn't even real. Wow. Mom! On a scale of 1 to 10, how are you enjoying London so far? 10. 10? Mm -hmm. You're not just saying that to make me feel better? <laughs> I'm genuinely happy though. Like, this is ridiculous. Mom. Can you believe we're here? The weather is perfect. Thank you, Lord, for not making it rain on my birthday. Thank you. Look at mom, working her magic. Oh yeah, you go mom, you go. You get it girl. Oh yeah, give us fears. Oh, 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 laugh mom. <laughs> Abby's like, oh dear. Yes, give us fierce Miss Piggy. <laughs> Go, Miss Piggy. Yes, yes. Show that sweater. Walk towards. Yes. Go, Lululemon. Go, Lululemon. Oh, yes. Give us Lululemon. Freakishly tiny feet. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, it's a British squirrel. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Is it running after me? There it is. Oh my God, it's coming after me. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why was it coming after me? I was nearly killed by a British squirrel. It came after me. <laughs> Mom, do you see that? Yeah. It came at me with a vengeance, guys. It didn't want me to record it. Oh my God, that was so scary. My life flashed before my eyes. I was gonna be attacked by a squirrel. <laughs> Currently in St James Park, which according to Abby is one of the best, yeah. one of the best one ones, of the one of the best parks be in too. London. It's beautiful, by the way, and super near Buckingham Palace. They're so cute and fab. I'm so afraid that they're gonna attack me like the squirrel. Don't make eye contact. They look fake. Beautiful. Oh. Is that a black swan? Hey, Natalie. Whoa. Monochromatic madness. Oh, look at them. Are you sure those are quails? Probably like 1,000 shots. Abby, do you have Instagram? I'm gonna link his Instagram in the description box. Follow him. If you're gonna go to London and you're gonna hire Sweet Escape, special request for Abby. Come on, let's get him super busy so he wants to cry and then kill me afterward. <laughs> Maximum of three clients a day. Let's make it five. <laughs> Take a picture, he likes it. Abby said it's the British flag up there, so that means the queen is in home. Maybe she's buying groceries. <laughs> We just had our first official London tube experience. Thank goodness we have Abby because it was manic. 
sick. There was a man in there that totally gave his seat up for mom and I almost cried. So we are now making our way to Tower Bridge and then we're gonna have lunch with Abby. Wish us luck, Abby. We're gonna take the two back without you. Mom's like, I wanna go eat already. Tower Bridge is so beautiful. You see this bridge in every movie and every TV show and people have this misconception. They call it London Bridge when in reality that's not London Bridge. <laughs> super cool you're given a card and then you place your order with the kitchen they cook it in front of you and they charge it to this card and then you go to the cashier and then you pay for everything over there so we're having our late lunch now I'm thinking I might have a pizza or a pasta I'm not sure yet you want to hear pizza and a pasta? sounds perfect Shren what are you gonna get pasta and Abby, are you having a pasta? Pasta, pasta too. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> it's finished already. Oh, you should have told me. Ladies and gents, this is Jose. Sweet, sweet man. Making our order. Hello. Abby got the same thing. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Cheese, guys. Cheese, yes. <laughs> This is the coolest concept. Good choice, Abby. Oh, that's perfect. I give you this and you can do it at home. Actually, you can. I'll put that in my bag. Thank you. Thank you. Mom's in my pizza. I put garlic oil. Fresh pasta. Mom has olives. Trina has her pasta. Abby as well. This looks so good. Super good. You heard it here, guys. Zapiano. Yum, yum. Hello, everyone. It's been... It's been a couple of hours. Great news, we survived the train. Woohoo! So much easier than the Japan train. So I mean, technically, mahiyadaman kami if we didn't survive it. We ate such a late lunch. We ate at like 3.30 and we have dinner reservations at 7? 7? 7.30. We need to digest and get hungry again because we're going to Head and Street Kitchen, AKA Gordon Ramsay's restaurant to have Beef Wellington and I'm ready. I am so full. I am going to just top up my makeup and change to my birthday Seven. outfit. Seven. Oh gosh. Do you want me to see if I can edit it? <laughs> I can make an eight. I'm down for eight. No, we can't. We have Harry Potter. We have an early start also tomorrow and I need to figure out where to get our tickets. Oh dear. So much has happened. Couldn't have asked for a better birthday to be honest. I think it's not even over yet. We have to buy laundry detergent. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just finished getting our Harry Potter tickets. It was really simple. We booked it via Klook. Everything was already paid for. We literally just had to go to a ticket machine, type in our code, and then it printed all of our tickets. Apparently tomorrow, we're gonna take the train from here to Watford, I think. That's where we're supposed to go for the shuttle to Harry Potter. So at least now, Tina and I know. And at least now we know the actual route. We have the tickets. I can check that off my to-do list. So now we're walking back to the flat. Trina's gonna grab a cup of coffee, and then we're gonna get ready. We're gonna take an Uber to the restaurant because mom <laughs> trina and i have walked oh, what's your guess how many how many steps do you think we did today 18, 18 so far yeah trina says 18 i'm thinking like 16. i was telling trina kanina i don't know if i am vlogging enough or if i'm vlogging too much oh it's always so hard like i really genuinely don't know. i always have this dilemma that's right i'm vlogging from my phone i'm so sorry i didn't bring my camera i literally just brought my wallet i'm tired this is the only mirror in the entire apartment aside from the one in the back Bathroom, so I thought I would say hello to you guys here, but I am ready for my birthday dinner We're gonna have beef wellingtons and I'm really excited. I wanted to show you my outfit really quickly This is the jumpsuit that Trina got me from the States. I really like it. It's very comfortable I feel like I've gained weight though not gonna lie so I don't know how confident I feel in it, but it's my birthday, whatevs. It's just got this really cool, like, asymmetrical, strappy top.
top part and then the bottoms are these really really wide flares which I think are really cool. I darkened my eyeshadow a little bit. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette. In case you guys were wondering, I only brought one eyeshadow palette with me. I put some Glossier Wouter on my face again and then I added a little bit more mascara. On my lips, I've got the Glossier Play Vinylic Lip in Pony. Changed my earrings to my diamond earrings that I wear basically all the time. My Julia Diamond Tennis Bracelet and then I'm wearing my mom's birthday gift for me. She gave me this gorgeous gold mango with diamonds on it and it's just, it goes so well with like my other bracelets. I just think that it's so cute. So of course I'm wearing that. Oh, I've got a runny nose. dinner I'm so 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 ready to eat I'm full I'm like not even hungry but because it's Gordon Ramsay's restaurant I'm just like okay Trina and I are going to get the beef wellington duh and mom's going to get the fish and chips I'm gonna get a cocktail are you gonna get a cocktail boring this restaurant is gorgeous there's even an ice cream bar <laughs> So flippin' sold. My cocktail has just arrived. I ordered the Lady Regent, which is a gin-based cocktail. It looks so cute! I love it. Mom ordered a cheeky little Coke. It's in a glass bottle that is so retro. I love it. And Trina has water. The most exciting drink. Cheers! How am I ever gonna have gin and tonics back home? Delicious, very refreshing, very citrusy. Heaven. I can't wait to see the food. I can't wait for you guys to see the food and I can't wait to eat the food. After 45 glorious minutes of waiting, the famous Gordon Ramsay Beef Wellington. Oh my God. And then we've got some truffle mashed potatoes. Mom has her fish and chips that she has been waiting for, craving for. There you go, mother, with mushy peas and of course french fries and a giant fish. Wow! Ah, happy birthday, Pons! Thanks, Jen! First bite. Wow! How are your fish and chips, mommy? Good. Look at what this staff at Hedden Street gave me! Thank you! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We're back at the flat and I'm having a cheeky glass of wine to end my birthday. I had so much fun with these two. Yay! Thank you guys so much for celebrating my birthday with me. You're welcome, Carly. Happy birthday. We're all kind of semi-dying already because we're so tired and it's only 9 o'clock. <laughs> but time. we've got an early, early start tomorrow. It's Harry Potter, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a... Thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to... Subscribe. And leave us a comment of your favorite favorite Harry Potter movie or book. I would love to know and I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye! Bye. Bye. Cheers to 29. Thank my you. last year in my 20s. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>